Hi, I'm Sandy Alnock. Welcome to my YouTube channel where today I'll be using colored pencils and alcohol markers to color in my new fundraiser color wheel downloadable image. And I'm also going to share with you a little bit about the hex chart class. Let's get started. I'm calling this a planetary fundraiser, but I considered calling it a perpetual fundraiser. But the word perpetual has too much of a long-term connotation to it. And I would like to think that at some point, maybe not in my lifetime, but at some point, we will fix our planet to the point where we won't have natural disasters devastating us every single day in the news. But until then, I want to be able to help when people do have those things going on in their communities. And this fundraiser for right now, at the time that this is going live, is going to Hawaii. They just underwent the most horrific fire. So many people died. So many homes and businesses and just the whole community of Lahaina was devastated. It was absolutely tragic. So if you purchase this image so you can color it up yourself, then you can have all of your do proceeds donated to help in Hawaii. And if you would like to color it up and share it on your social media and link people to this so they can participate in the fundraiser, that would be amazing and awesome. Now, over time, there's going to be another major disaster. There just is. I know that. I've seen it happen over and over. So the beneficiary will change. But I did put a reminder in my phone once a week to go check and see how many sales were made on this. And I'm going to donate 100% of the proceeds, plus I'm going to cover the PayPal fees. So we're going to try to do some fundraising for people who are undergoing just tragic and horrendous things and be able to at least help in a little way. And as I said, you can help by posting a coloring of this image, whether you shrink it down and put it on a card, color it large, whatever you want to do, put it on another kind of project, put it in an art journal, whatever you like, rock on. Now I created this as a color wheel. You can color it in other ways, but there are divisions so that you can put your primaries and your secondaries in it, as well as the circle in the background is for the tertiary colors. So you can color it that way, or you can color it in whatever way you want, even if it's a color wheel. You can make it snowy themed if we have a snowy disaster going on that we're fundraising for, or you can make it a water theme if we have maybe too much water coming into a community somewhere, either from the skies or from the oceans. Like whatever is going on, you can theme your design to that. You can add doodles to it, either in a white gel pen or a black pen. You can divide it into more sections and make it a mosaic. There's a lot of different ways you can color something like this. And I will be doing that over time whenever we change up what the fundraiser is going to go for. I'll add some more images to it. And I will post those images, those colorings, in the product image so that you'll have a growing collection of different ways that you can color this. So I would hope that lots of people will give generously by not only purchasing this, but by sharing it with your friends so that they will also help because I want to definitely do as much as we can. I'm just an artist. I can't fix the planet, but I can do my part and we can all do our part in whatever way we can to preserve our planet as well as to help other people when we have not done our job of preserving our planet very well. I mentioned a hex chart class at the beginning of this video, and I want you to know that the hex chart class is also part of the fundraiser just for this weekend. So on August 19th and 20th, 2023, 100% of the proceeds from class will be donated to help the people in Hawaii. But the class is how to use a hex chart, practical tips, and color theory. It's not a coloring class. I'm not going to teach you massive techniques or anything. I included the color wheel in mine because I wanted it in my little book. But you also don't have to make this little five and a half by eight and a half book. 
you can just use swatch sheets because that's a lot of what I'll be doing the teaching on. And I'll be looking at hex charts and how you pick colors, how you find them on the chart and what is and is not okay. And like, what, what things are they not good for? How do you have to adapt your color choices when something right next to the color that you're using doesn't seem to be the perfect color for, say, the highlight or the shadow or something? And I use these drawings, just snippets of them, as examples. They are not teaching the drawings. They're just examples of how to employ that kind of color thinking in your artwork. So the class is only 10 bucks. That's one of the reasons why you're not getting the drawing of all of these. The videos are quite short, but there's lots of written information and you can download the template for the book without the drawings in it so that you can do your own drawings or your stamping. You could stamp on those pages, whatever you'd like to do if you want to make a book like this. But you could also just download my book and print it out. The general colors for some of the main objects are listed on each page. If you choose to use the photos that I did, which are linked in the classroom, and you want to try those drawings yourself. So it's kind of a little different class, but since I've had so many questions about the hex chart, I thought it's about time that I do something to teach about how to use it. So go out and help Hawaii. Links are in the doobly-doo. And I will see you again next week with more creativity. Take care. Bye-bye.